Scenario. You're in a firefight with your buddy. Neither of you have body armor, but he happened to have bought a bulletproof wallet. The only way to get out of this is to do maneuver 69 and guard your heart in his ass or die. Would you do it? We're gonna put it to the test today. Today, my special guest is none other than Christopher Spade. How's it going, Chris? Go well. Christopher and I have found a weird ad on Instagram of this wallet that people are just shooting lever action rifles into and it's allegedly stopping them. The Ridge Titanium Wallet. Titanium 2. Yes, yeah, so when you go to the actual page, I'll play the commercial probably now. So as you can see, it never lists that it's bulletproof, but they put that in their commercial. And we said that to each other and immediately just were like, no, that's not, that's just clever marketing. No way. But then it kind of turned into like a head scratcher. We're like, what if, what if it's not? Cause why else would you make a wallet? Cause you can get, this is the most expensive one they make if I'm not mistaken, correct? There was one more that was more expensive, but it wasn't because of the durability of the wallet. It was just like, like a, a rare one. Yes. This was the highest level of titanium, the most expensive one that they sold in terms of durability. And they offer other ones that are just plastics that are colored, carbon fiber, whatever really tickles your gonads. So why else would they make a, what's the type? You say type Ti two? Titanium, titanium two. two. Titanium two is what they were calling it. So I don't really know on a company standpoint, why else you would use that resource to make something so expensive that's identical to your other products and then put that in the commercial unless there was some truth to it. And that's what we're gonna find out today. As you can see, at our state-of-the-art facility with our state-of-the-art mounting system, everything should hold still pretty good. We are going to work from smaller caliber to larger. I believe what they were using in that ad, it, it's blurry and it's always tiny and it's a very quick snippet. It looks like they're either using a 44 mag or the 4570. I think it's a little too small to be the 4570. Uh, yeah. Did not bring a 4570. I brought something comparable though. We do have a 44 mag, so we are gonna build up to that. But we wanna give this thing a fighting chance to earn some street cred. So we're gonna start with the, the good old 22 long rifle. What's your hypothesis? What are you feeling? Honestly, that thing is pretty hard. I think, I think it'll stop 22. I'm curious on nine. I don't think, I think 22 is gonna dent the shit out of it. I think nine is gonna puncture. We're gonna kick this off with the infamous 22 long rifle out of a Rough Rider revolver, subsonic ammo. It's a little guy, but it packs a punch. That's not a gun. Mine's bigger. Let's go. So uh, for clarity's sake here, we put subsonic 22 ammunition in this little guy. That is the same gun, however, it has a 16 inch barrel, so it has rifle ballistics, and we put the CCI Stinger ammunition in there. So this should be easiest 22 that it should be able to take. Yep. That should be worst case scenario 22. Yep. Oh, I nicked the top. Well. But it, it deflected it. Yep. Okay. That's curious. No, we just gotta, I'll give that a pass. Cause I think so. I don't think yeah. that was going through. Oh shit. That stopped it. No shit. That, I mean, it made a little wallussy in there, but I should call her. Ew. Look, I mean, it, it looks like it hit more up top. Yeah. And it just, the pressure cracked it. Yeah. No, that did good. That's okay, okay. The back face defamation isn't that bad either. Your ass cheek would be okay. I don't think that would hurt that bad. As it goes, we're gonna step her up to nine millimeter. Same gun and bullet that conquered the bulletproof hat in the last episode. This is 124 grain hollow point AAC ammunition with a Palmetto State Armory dagger. Basically a, uh, a very cheap Glock 19. Well, well, there's a very large hole in the wood that was not there before. Look at that. Where's the wall? <laughs> oh yeah. Oh. I mean. <laughs> I mean. Yeah. Yeah. That's a pretty clean enter and exit. Yeah. 
That butt cheek's got a bullet in it. Yeah, your ass is gonna be hurt. Looking rough here, buddy. Can you open that oh, up real yeah. good? Get it. Let's say get in there. I'm gonna I'm gonna gape for you. Yeah, that's that's a spicy round. Okay. And I think you said you wanted to carry this if it lived. What hole do you want to see in this? Is what I'm asking. Well, my favorite round, the 357. It so is. I say we put we put a 357 through it, and then whatever's left, we just kill with 44 and 44 and up. Yeah, 44 and up. All right, 357 it is. 357, snub nose. This is uh, probably my least favorite gun to shoot, but it's so fun at the same time. It's so distorted. Oh yeah, it's not good. Nope, a little high. Is number one. So it like it didn't it ripped the corner back. Oh shit. I count that as a deflection. I think so. That's the same as the first 22. Yeah. I mean for a first shot, that's pretty that's spot what I'm on. Saying. Yeah, that's I mean, you're up there with the best on Jesus. Them. The only logical choice is to giddy up. I want that, that's expensive. 44 Magnum versus Titanium wallet. Oh, I crisped it. Don't worry, I always have pocket in it. Firing. Conference call, Chris. Oh, what's it? Where did it? What? I hit it, but where did I hit it? Or did I just hit the tape? Yeah. I might have just hit the tape. Oh. I'm that good. I'm like a surgeon. Did I hit the same? It's just aiming really high. Oh my God. I'm just destroying this tape. Did I hit that at all? Uh, no. Nope. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I think you still hit the tape. Super low. Let's see if I hit it. Oh, it looks buff. Yo, oh, yeah, I think we got her. Gun is rendered safe. Uh oh. Yep. It ju I just expanded the thumb hole, dude. I thought you'd like that. Something's also very hot. Well, uh, I would assume. What? Yeah. I mean, it's not bad. It's still together. I mean, it is holding up better than I thought. It's holding up better than both of our egos because we have missed a lot today. Yeah. All right, Chris, <laughs> you said you had a special request. Do you want to use it? I do, yeah. So uh, we've got here the public defender judge, uh, 45 long cold or 410. Um, we decided not to use 410 because we think it's just going to spray I everywhere and just deflect yeah, and probably blind good. us. Especially as good as this is doing, I yeah. don't think that's going to be good. Yeah, so we're going to try some 45 long cool. Um, which should work fine. I mean, it's a lot less potent than this. This yeah. is just kind of a fan pick. It's the 357 one. plus. Yeah. Yeah. So is it though? No, but no, no. That's, is it? But it's, it's big and fat and slow, but like heavy. Me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Boy, there we got it. Look at that hole. Well. Look at that hole. Holy shit, is that where it was? Yeah. <laughs> Steven. I'm not seeing a fresh hole. Or is this it? I think it cupped it and pushed it out. I don't think it went through. I think when you shot it, oh, this is the where it, taped, rolled it with just, it. it yeah. Here, get, get in on this. So what we've determined is when he shot, he hit here and it was taped about here and it just kind of rolled and dumped through there. That's why it deflected so much back because it was the back force leaving. Yeah, that. and this thing flew quite a distance. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Do you want to... 
You ready to say goodnight to this thing? Yeah, let's get a couple pictures. Do it for the gram. And then uh, put Send her to bed. Send it to hell. Put her to bed. We got one more toy for you. It's still, look though, it's still one piece. Yo, oh, yeah, no, this is in better shape than my mental health. This is not bad. You could still use this. It's not that noticeable. I will. It's I not that noticeable. It. I'm using this. We straighten this out with a mallet, it'll be fine. Brand new. Next on our list is the 50 Beowulf. Why the 50 Beowulf, not the 4570? Don't own a 4570, and ballistically, it performs very similar. This is the biggest round that can fit in the AR-15 platform. It was actually designed to go through car engines, so. Single blow, shut them down. It, yeah, it's meant for like traffic stops, shit like that, just a one and done, they're not going anywhere. Pretty cool, right? It's a beefy boy. Woo! You're low. You no. It. Oh yeah, no, I hit it. I saw sparks. Oh. I hit it, it was just so fast it didn't move. Sorry about oh. the bag dump, I got excited. That went straight through the tape. Fucking A. Oh no, the 2x4. Oh, and I saw it. Oh. <laughs> so, uh, full transparency, we have been shooting a little before this. Uh, we have our actual target here. That is a 50 Beowulf through two layers of titanium and a piece of wood on a glancing boil. Wrapping this up, it's still together. Thoughts. What was the, how much did you pay for this again? 125. 125. Tax and shipping, whatever. Are you pleased with a 125 purchase? How do you feel about this? I am surprisingly pleased. I mean, I'm not planning on running into a bunch of uh, 45 70s, 44 mags, 50 cal. Uh, yeah, yeah, not gonna happen in the wild. You know, we saw that it stopped 22 pretty effectively. It really tried to stop the nine. I agree with you, I think, with some cards, some cash, you know, a layer of pants, Give it layer some of jeans. Line. I was thinking kind of like how Kevlar, Yeah. because like, money is denim. Yeah. You get that shredding layer after it gets that hard piece. I mean, I but, think there's some viability to it. And all in all, I mean, it's truly still in one And for not being piece. advertised truly yeah. as a ballistic protection device, this was just shown to be getting shot, but they never really elaborated. Yeah. I, I give this a pass. I give it a pass too. And I also do understand why it's $125. Yeah, no, yeah. that definitely showed us it was worth it. It's not just like painted. It is not aluminum that they're calling titanium. This definitely, I mean, it took that, uh, it took the judge no problem. Yeah. It just rolled with it. You got a pinky holder now, dude. Yeah, yeah, this is just- you Oh, can it's a pinky it. ring. So you can grab it quicker. We made you jewelry. You'll get street cred with that. Well, hey, thanks for coming out and thanks for letting me shoot your wallet. Absolutely. Anytime. It's always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. Until next time, if you guys at home want to see us shoot anything within reason, let me know in the comments below. Go ahead and like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, bitch. See you next time.